All right. Good morning from America. Um, I see a few folks are joining. We'll get started in a few minutes. I'd like to encourage everybody to uh, look at the web page that's highlighted in the yellow box where we have um, the uh, full agenda for the tutorial, pointers to the slides, hands-on activities, and other notes. And maybe one of our friends can put this in the chat so everybody can quickly cut and paste. I forgot to do that. See that it's eight o'clock, but we don't have a lot of people on board yet. I think we'll wait a few minutes. I'm guessing that people are figuring out the interface to get logged in and things like that. In the meantime, if uh, folks who are joining us would like to visit the web page, you can get the full agenda for the tutorial, uh, pointers to the slides, hands on activities and other information about the site and hopefully that's somewhere in the chat too probably needs to be repeated zoom isn't good about giving people access to the chat history before they arrived i think Give it about two more minutes. Okay, once again, good morning, everybody. I think we should get started. I'm sure we'll have more people coming in. Welcome to the Better Scientific Software tutorial. And um, our team will be uh, presenting this um, and I'll introduce everybody in a few minutes. I first wanted to introduce the slide which appears in all of our presentations, but it gives people a little bit of information uh, if they want to cite this tutorial and how our uh, how we've been supported through the Exascale Computing Project. 
uh, we'll be flipping over this after uh, this presentation, but uh, it is there just as a reminder if anybody wants to uh, take advantage and mention this to others. So I'm David Bernholt from Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Uh, my fellow presenters today and tomorrow will be Anshu Dubey from Argonne National Lab, Patricia Grubel from Los Alamos National Lab, Rinku Gupta from Argonne, and David Rogers from RNL. We're members of the Ideas Productivity Project, which focuses on increasing computational science and engineering software productivity, quality, and sustainability. So Ideas takes a, a number of different approaches to working both within the Exascale Computing Project and um, externally through events like this, um, this tutorial to try to engage the community in understanding and discussing and improving software development practices. Focus keeps shifting, there we go. One of the other things we're trying to do is build an online community called betterscientificsoftware.io, uh, bssw.io. This is a, a community-based resource for uh, documentation on scientific software process improvement. So um, we have a lot of different types of resources. We have a blog series. We have a couple of blog postings each month. We have a lot of what we call curated content, which is identifying content around the web and books and other things that are useful, talking about good software pro pro uh, practices. And we also have a, a number of uh, um, locally sourced um, original articles on the site. We're open to contributions. You can go to the bssw.io site and uh, find out how to contribute as well as finding information that might help you. If you're interested in following uh, the Ideas Productivity Project or the Better Scientific Software site, here are uh, a couple of links to join mailing lists. These are pretty low volume mailing lists once a month or a couple of times a month uh, to track our activities, things like this tutorial. Um, we often do events at other meetings. Uh, and we also have a webinar series and a, a panel discussion series that might interest you. And by the way, these are all on, um, these links are all available on the website as well. Um, so that will, um, I'll flash up the website in a second, but the URL should be in the chat. Um, as we go through this, we have a couple of sessions slated to work on hands-on activities. We have a simple example to give you some hands-on experience with the concepts in this tutorial. Uh, it's a simple physics or math problem, but you don't really need to understand the physics or math to do the exercises. We're really focused on the software development here. It's not about the, the physics. So this is just an example that will resonate with many people in our community. Um, so we've built into the agenda some time for these activities, but you should feel free to continue working on them outside of the tutorial. And if you give us pull requests or file issues or things like that, let us know. Um, we will take a look and give you feedback. And once again, this is also accessible from the tutorial web page. And finally, we want to interact with you. We find these tutorials most interesting and informative when everybody asks questions and shares experiences. And we learn too, this is part of why we do this. We want to hear about your experiences, what works for you, what, what you have problems with uh, in software development and things like that. So please use the chat to ask questions at any time. We'll answer them in chat or verbally as we have the opportunity. And if we don't get to your question, I apologize. You can certainly follow up with us afterwards. Um, there's an email address that you can reach us at later uh, down in the bottom of the slide. Um, and so we're very interested in engaging with you. And let me just quickly put up the, um, the web page. This is the web page. It's bssw-tutorial.github.io. And if you go to the link for today's webinar um, uh, tutorial, you'll see a whole bunch of information, including the agenda, um, how to access the presentation slides. We put these in Figshare. Uh, and also further down are the links to the hands-on exercises. So I would encourage you to, to do that. Um, and as I'm shifting over to the uh, first real presentation, of the session, 
um, I would like to encourage all the participants to put a little information about themselves in the chat so that we can get to know you. Um, something about where you are, uh, what kind of job you're in, or if you're a student or whatever, and what your interests are in this tutorial. And that will help us gauge a little bit um, who you are, and uh, you'll learn more about us as we go along with this. So I'm going to move to the first um, presentation unless there are any questions. <laughs>